Hey, it's James from Free Electrical, and today's video we're installing this little fuse box. Here we go. There we go, right then, so we're at this property. So the customer wants a dual RCD fuse box. There's two RCDs. Uh, there's going to be five ways here, five ways there. I'm going to put this thing called a SPD, or Surge Protective Device. So basically, if you notice here, this customer's got a pod point. You've got electric car. Now, electric cars aren't cheap. So what that, S what that SPD will do is any surges into the property through the power lines will basically, it'll dampen that and stop your electrics getting blown up. So it's quite important to have. So there'll be an SPD there, it comes with a separate kit. And then it's just going to be, I think it's like five MCBs, five MCBs um, to pick up the old fuse board. And then that'll be this job done really. So uh, I think he wants some bits done in his kitchen as well. So obviously if the sockets are not RCD protected, they need to be RCD protected. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. We provide RCD protection for circuits and we are providing surge protection so it doesn't blow up his, well, it saves his car getting blown up if there's, if there's ever a surge. Here we go, let's get into this. And so that is going up here. So what we're gonna do then, we'll get the lid off here. This is why you get electrics checked. Look at that, it's all gone crispy, crispy. So it's probably loose connections in there, causing it to heat up, and you could have a fire. So what we're gonna do is tally this up then. So we're gonna tally this up to what the new position is on the new fuse board. And look at this, I gave Ellis this when he started. I says, right, I'll see how long this is gonna last. So I wrote the date on it, and he's kept it, so he's done really well. All right, let's get this tallied up. There we go, that's that tallied up then. So two, one, uh, I think we've got five and six and nine, and that's it really. So that was like probably an old shower cable on this green 45. So what we'll do is just uh, cap it off in the back of the fuse board just to get someone to reuse that cable, but we won't connect it back up as it never had a fuse in. And then there's another cable here then. So that's a 2.5 for something. So what we'll do is just extend that. We'll have to just clip it along and get it into the new fuse board. I uh, don't know what it does, but if it powered up before, we're gonna power it up again. Right then, and there's his labels then. So these tallies will represent where it's going to go in the new fuse board also because it's a twin in earth and um, we know that if we tally up one for that twin in earth it's obviously in one cable so we know that the, the earth and neutral left and circuit one as well if we're done in singles we'd have to we'd have to tally up the earth and neutrals as well so a bit harder all right so let's make this dead then so what we're going to do is get the little uh uh isolator fairies just to kill the power because dnl will take ages to come out and it's supposed to be left no power so let's just uh, do that right now. There we go. <coughs> there we go, that's that disconnected then. So apparently we've got some random cables running through the back, which do the switch. So what I have to do is just somehow get this tucked up behind, I'll just chase a little bit out, get these behind the board, and then the fuse board can sit here then. So it looks like everything's gonna come back left entry, if it will. If not, we'll have to put like a bigger Datsworld box and maybe I don't know, run it, run it a bit lower for him, but these are going to have to come rear entry, I think. Uh. <laughs> right, that's it, this is going to set up the SPD then, so you get a little box, it comes with the SPD, that orange thing, and a breaker. So what I'm going to do is bang the SPD, so I'll take this little blank out, so SPD will sit there where that, where that blank is. The other side of the main switch, we'll have to put, let's leave a little gap here, Alice is listening isn't it? Uh, I'm going to put a little 32 amp there, and then obviously when we do the bus bar, there'll be a little link between the main switch into here, and then obviously it'll just wire into your SPD there. There's some instructions, so you should get it. But yeah, essentially it's just the earth. It comes with an earth, a little earth tag onto the earth, neutral into this non-RCD neutral, and then just out of your breaker to power up your SPD. So he'll set that up. <coughs> but look at this then, if I hold this up. Yeah. Let's go after that top left entry uh, to get this done. Right, so what we'll have to do then is just rejig some bits so it actually lands with that knockout. So all we do for a knockout, it's like he's on floor, but I think you can do it mid-air. So just bash about here, bash about here. I'll just do it in one eh? New plan. So what we're gonna do is put a big old Datswell box over here just because the customer wants a bit lower. So what I'll do. He's just bringing it a lot lower 
big adaptable box and then we'll just do conduits between them. Not conduits, but like uh, adaptable, I can't speak. <laughs> we'll get an adaptable box and just put uh, runs between and extend those cables down to here. So then, we're just off to all sailors now then. So what we're gonna get is a big 200 v 300 box, so a big rectangle, I'll go over that and then I'm toying with the idea of just compression gland and cables between, or it might look neater if we get some 25mm conduit and to go top and bottom stuff like that, like in a row, like, like loads of pieces of 25mm conduit. And because it's such a short run, you won't even need to put saddles in because it'll be it's like less than 300 mil coming down. So that's the new plan. Oh, but we're also in Tadcaster. So if you remember the church video, that, that was uh, just down the road. So we might even see it, the big, the big church pat testing. There you go, Ellis. That's that big church we worked at, pat testing. Uh, if you remember that video, Josh might put it up. All right then, so what we're gonna do, we've, we've just been to the wholesalers. We've got some 20mm conduit from a job. So, like we said, we're just gonna bridge between the fuse bars so that there'll be maybe five conduits. So, six mil will take one up, two two fives will take one up, lighting cables will take another, earth will take another, and then there's, um, we'll have one spare, so if you wanna add stuff later. Uh, so, the wholesalers guy was like, he come back with, a, with some butties and that, and I was like, oh, what have you got there, mate? And it turns out he's, he's, he's going to the butty shop right next to where we're working. So I was like, get in. So we found some square sausage, but it's circular, but it's flat sausage. That's amazing, so I'm gonna try it out. Here we go. Hey, we found Smokies, so there's a big field. Yeah, keep filming, Ellis. Look at that, Smokies, buns. That'll do here. So I'm gonna give this a go. Look at this, smoking buns. Oh, well, look at this. Alice is opening my burger. So, this is the chili burger. It's got chili. And he's got, we've got bacon. Bacon? Oh, yeah. That's good, isn't it? I don't know, is that, that right yours, that? Might be mine. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. That is a beast. Right, let's see if we can balance this. Oh, my goodness, I'll, I'll see what it's like then. Oh, yeah. Jalapenos, chili beef, cheese, Mexican chili, cheese, square sausage burger. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. How's yours, Alice? Well, that's a bit nice. Mmm, lovely. So we're now, now we're full. Oh, I'll try that out. What were they called? Banging burgers or something? What was it? Smoking buns. Smoking buns. Mmm, oh, lovely. She even came to the van and says, do you want, do you want me to take your, your boxes by? So you don't have to have it in your van. Legend. Alright then, we're going to crack on now. So we've got a big adaptable box to put in, some little pieces of tube between, and then get it, get it powered up, tested, done. Alright then, so this is the plan then. So what we're going to do is knock those five out then, and then we're going to send conduits between. So to knock these out, hold it up, draw little circles through the bottom of this into the adaptable box, obviously we have to get that adaptable box fixed and we'll run some conduits between. There we go, right, let's crack on with this.
I know, we just had to put two more holes in, so hence we're two down. So all these will be all the same, but this is a, a bit lower for customers. Three each rather than reaching all the way up there. I'm able to switch it down here so it'll be a bit better for him. So I have to go out and get some more female adapters. Oh well, so but that looks nice and neat, doesn't it? Sound. And there's a solid is out, so they're not going anywhere. So we'll get this fixed then, and then it's just a matter of winding them up. So these cables, you know, we're gonna have to come along and up it to the bottom. It would have been better to side, but we drilled the hole now. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, and all these cables just extended into your breakers, so nice and easy. Can you see me through the jungle? <laughs> Look at it. Right, so we're just going to extend all these cables. So we've run all the cables that we're going to be extending. So we're going to get those in. So yeah, unfortunately we did the hole in the bottom, so we're going to have to, I don't know, fleet these and have them come round and up. Into your breakers, earth into earth. And then we're going to get this 2.5 cable, whatever it does, to extend across and down into, I don't know, might have to bring it down and then just follow this bundle and pop it into the side here, maybe on a 20mm blend, something like that. But yeah, let's carry on then. That's all the neutrals in there and earth. So what we're gonna do is we've got the gear tray in, got the tails in, got the main earth in. So all we have to do now is just get these line conductors into here and then obviously just extend through and that'll be this job ball powered up and done. Right then, so here's a fuse board in then, as neat as we can get it. So we've got all those lines come down across and in, all your earths are in, all nice and nice. So what we got like a cooker, sockets, lights and your water heater so all that goes up into there i thought that was a nice neat way of doing things really into your box above so because we didn't want it up there i wanted it down here so that's a lot better so from here they can just flick stuff on and on nice and easy so what we're going to do is get the bus bar in then so there's a, there's a little link for the main switch so we'll have to just chop that down and bang that in like so and then we'll have to chop this down so it lands in there and then across to those and then lands in there and then lands across to those. Right, do you want to film this bit then? So to do that then, I'll speak up a bit. What I do is just get some uh, some grips. So we want one to go in the main switch and one to go into the brick at the side. So I'm just going to hold it like that, hold that like that. And then you just grip nice and tight and give it a little bend. A little bender like that, that goes like that. And that'll go in there, and now we're just going to offer up these then. So it'll go in that one, and then across these. So we want to bend them here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then obviously one for the, the main switch so again, across, and then we're just going to bend, 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 bend. <laughs> I can imagine Josh doing the, uh, the chicken song. It's, it looks like. Anyway, that one. So that five, yeah, that's gonna fit there. And then let's have a look. And get five in there. So again, just bridge across. Make double checks. Once you've bent it, that's that's it. For five. Give this a little bendy bend. A little bendy wendy. <laughs> that's it. Done. That's the lid on, looking sweet. So now what we've got to do is just get all this level up so it'll look pretty, pretty sick. So we'll leave Ellis to do that and then we'll whip it off, get it all tested and that'll be this job done. There we go then, that's it. Looking 
looking good. This is labelled it up lovely. And that's a job. Well done. Hey, you've got to film an ending. Oh no. So just like, can you, can you do one? So here it is. So yeah, that were an interesting video, that one. So it was a bit of a nightmare trying to get all the little tubes up that we got there. And then after that job, the bloke wants us to do loads of work around the house. We're doing the kitchen soon, so that should be good. Um. Yeah, but yeah, if you've liked this video, give it a like, give it a comment. We need to comment because it just pushes the algorithm out and it gets out to loads of people. So that'd be amazing if you can do that. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. Give us, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the little bell notification to know when next upload. Can't remember what I say. As always, have a good from me, and I'll see you on the next one. Also, I'm off to Epix today, so that should be an interesting one. So I'm going to do the challenge, the challenge wall. So hopefully you'll see that video if I ever produce it. Yeah, I've got some secret tips of how I... Oh, it, I might complete it, I might get the best time ever, I'm not sure. We'll soon find out.